My name is Taran. I'm Laura. My name is Adam. My name is Jia Qi Zhang. I'm Chile Wang. My name is Eric. I'm Hamid. I grew up in Glasgow. And I'm from Sheffield. And I'm from Wakefield. And I'm from Hong Kong. And I'm, and I'm from China. China. The engineering courses is a four-year master program. The first and second year we study general engineering. If I had to choose what I wanted to specialise after my first year, I would have been completely lost. I like the fact that engineering here, you actually have a chance after your first two years to then pick something that you really want to do. So I still have one and a half year to, to think about it. I applied for general engineering thinking that I'd specialise into mechanical. Maybe electrical engineering. Once I got here, I knew that electrical was, was the branch for me. That's the great thing about Oxford. You can change your mind. A lot of the electrical stuff we're learning this year is about control theory. And it's not just circuit analysis, the sort of stuff you learn in IB or A levels. So it kind of goes on from that to like digital logic and sort of control analysis, which, I'm, which is pretty much just math. And I'm kind of enjoying that side, side of like the logical thinking, the problem solving, the sort of like mathematical modeling. When you come to your third year, you get a chance to, uh, to apply for a year abroad. You don't get an extra year, you just spend your fourth year abroad. So you've got two options, you've got Princeton in America and you've got National University of Singapore. And obviously these are top universities as well, so it's not as if it's going to be easier. Fourth year is the same as third year, more specialism, biological, chemical, mechanical, aeronautical. Like information engineering, civil engineering. You also have project work, which is in a group, and it's also a solo project. The courses in Oxford is a combination of lectures and tutorials. Between eight and ten lectures a week, and we cover two tutorial sheets based on the lectures, and you do the problems and discuss them with your tutors. I think the tutorial system is exclusive to Oxford. For example, like, you know, microcontrollers, something like that. We spend um, a week in lectures, we don't understand a thing, and within an hour, with our tutor, you know, we're experts. Our tutors are all the eminent experts in the respective field. We have a tutor for electronics and mathematics. Then we have this tutor for structures and mechanics, and um, he uses design jet engines for Rolls-Royce. And, and then this third person, he's a chemical engineer. So you have all these professionals, and they can if you ask them about like, the sort of career opportunities they are available in each sort of industry, they can give you so much information. Your future is their past, essentially. They know what you're going to go through. Went to the interview and I was like really nervous. And then when I got called in, and the first thing that my tutor said to me was, hey up. Uh, basically, my tutor lived in the same hometown as I did. And that's what I really liked at the start. I had a five minute conversation, took me down saying like, you know, I'm from Chesterfield, I'm from Sheffield. I don't know, I know enough. Hey up, basically. I was like, Yes, okay, and that calmed me down. And then since then, in all my tutorials, um, it's been that constant banter with that, and that's what I really like. Generally, we have uh, one lab a week. I really enjoy doing the, the structural labs. Labs can be fun. The most interesting part is labs. Definitely not labs. Labs can be very difficult. Um, the content is much deeper than the lecture notes. So you have to do a lot of preparation before you go for the lab. <laughs> yeah. I'm a kind of uh, hands-on person, so I, I like labs a lot. You go into the lab and there's some machinery and you just make something, try and break it. So you can build your own bridge. So we made a functional radio that only worked on one frequency. You may find out um, how what you have learned is applied in the real life. Engineering is really good to work as a team. You should really bounce off ideas. The way Elevate is set up, it sort of lends itself to uh, collaboration. We have a great library. We usually meet in library and work through those hard problems together. I know f from speaking to other students at other colleges, that's not really something that happens everywhere. Everyone's very helpful. So like, if you're ever stuck in a problem and it's like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. at the night, I can just like, text a friend and he'd probably just like, help me out. So that's, that's what happened last night at like 5 a.m. We also have an um, engineering night out to go clubbing and have fun together. I think we're, we're very, very close as a group. And we're very different as people, but we get on very well. It, it was like that from the very start. LMH is really close to the engineering department. So you literally, you can wake up uh, around 10 minutes before lectures, and you have some quick breakfast, and you can still have your lectures on time. The thing I like most about it is the openness and the chillness of LMH. We have our uh, own football views and tennis courts. You've got a river at the, at the end of the gardens. We've got big gardens. We've got a boathouse which you can use in the summer. You have pool parties in the summer. Uh, 
barbecues, just constant, it's just really nice and chill. And the fact that it's out of the center, we don't get any tourists. It's a place where you'll be challenged non-stop, being around um, amazing people. And I was um, worried about whether I can like uh, make a real friend in this college. I think everybody would have fears of like, maybe not, not fitting in and not liking it here. I never have uh, experience of living abroad. I don't think there's a single person at LMH who feels that way still. If you enjoy physics and maths, and you like sciences and you like design and stuff, apply for engineering. Don't let being a female put you off. Don't give up, try to do your best. If you look around the room, there won't be many of you, but the more we get applying, the more that'll change. If you be an engineer, you have chance to solve many questions in the world. And I think you can let the world be better.